Yo, what is up, bros? Back with the Kamikaze round 24. Everything held in between rounds. We're still working on getting this bra out of here. We've been working on that for two rounds. But before I do anything, the most important thing we do each round is to start it out by placing one of these. We can't go around without throwing one of those down. I don't care what I have to do at the end to try to, you know, scrape some money up, but we got to get that down. And we got to get this guy down. Got him, finally. We are whole again, except for this. We still need to do something about that. I will attack aircraft carriers with my... Oh, shit, maybe I won't. I didn't think I'd be seeing that type of damage come out. Yeah, let's not do that again. Another aircraft carrier about to go down. Glorious day. I'd like to pull somebody into there and block that right there. All right, so we need to decide who gets aircraft carried. This general right here is probably prime real estate for bombing. Let's get him knocked out, and then maybe we can open up another dock, and then if we have anything left after that, let's make sure there's no more generals about to land. No, that was it. We got one more dock we want to open, and that is it. Then we'll have all the docks that was on this backside against China and Korea, and we've got them. That's it. I think let's just only target generals when they're about to land. That will allow us to target other stuff. So let's, I do want to take this out. Move up my bro right here. And then let's target these ships that are back here threatening our aircraft carriers. I think that's the next good step we can do. Nice. And get this general out of here. And just start working our way up. We'll get a meat shield of like destroyers moving up to keep any other uh, naval units from coming south. We'll have to get that started. Yeah, I think this is going to work. In fact, we can start the screening right now. I'm going to be low on money for meat shield, I bet, but we got to we got to do something back here. So we'll slowly push this screen north as our aircraft carriers take out these units and we'll regain control. All right, we got the airborne units deployed. The mainland is in no threat from any general landings on to island combat. We uh, completely cleared out the Philippines. The major battle going on here is uh, some Papua New Guinea, Indonesia. We got this spot here. We got a spot here. And that's really the only two hot spots. We got a problem up here I just noticed. We got a general that has taken a dock. And we cannot allow that to happen. This must be rectified like right now. I, can, I can't even get him down there, can I? Can he, he can hit from there. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's what happens. Okay. General trying to land. Wreck him. And then we got our three tank generals together for the first time. And not only that, but they are able to start making some moves finally. If, the, if they are capable of making moves... I am not really convinced that they're even capable of making moves. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look like they're too capable of move making. That's where you got to produce this super artillery. My bros just ain't got it. They just don't have it. Maybe someday they'll have it, but right now they don't have it. I don't even have anybody to fire on. Unless we can open up this city. These guys have no movement, though. I mean, I'll take that. 
All right, we still got our generals out front. I'm still taking them off the line and trying to heal them when they get low. Which is something I never thought I would be doing for uh, infantry generals. It had always been attack with them until they're utterly annihilated. But I got a soft spot in my heart for them now. They've done so well. Hey, bros, remember. If you'd have told me at round 24 we would be in this position, I would be like, yes, I'll take it. This is completely open. They got a group of troops here, and then this is pretty much completely open all the way to northern India or Nepal or some shit. Like we are, we're making some major headway quickly. Like just gobbling up territory, although like I've mentioned before, it doesn't seem like my money is increasing as quickly as all the territory that we are gobbling up. Is there a general or anything I can fire? There's like nothing around. I got this super artillery and I'm just looking for targets. Uh, I just want to fire off my super artillery. I'm just a, just, just a man with a super artillery. He wants to uh, shell something. Uh, yeah, you guys, there's like... I never thought I'd be at the point where I'd be searching for targets and just firing on uh, bunkers. Like, what is that? Yeah, we got a bunch of troops to move up into nothing. They're not going to encounter any resistance. We gotta get our super artillery moved up. So we can one shot those cities and open them. That'll start getting us moving quick. All right, we still got a few things to do here. They got one city in the area that I want to go ahead and take. Maybe or I can get that. Do I move you into that dangerous area? I think I do. This is big. That's a big move. We had to we had to take the risk. The risk was worth it. I don't think anything's gonna one shot that anyways, but got a ton of crapper infantry in Siberia. We can move up and then I've got to make sure to block the coast here. The US is trying to land. I gotta take this, get an airfield here so I can expand all along the coast so we uh, don't let them start landing. We cannot let a bunch of US troops land here. All right, so ran out of money, had no airfields on the front to even put down meat shield. After I built the airfields, I had no money. Although I did get the uh, meat shield to stop the US from landing up. And luckily I brought a couple generals here to help out. Round 25. Western Front looks good. Japan. No. Oh, no. We do have a landing. And we are running out of generals. Remember how many generals we used to have here? Holy shit. <laughs> Where did all our generals go? We got to cover that with crapper units. Oh, my God. They are attacking my... This aircraft carrier was brand new. I just put it down. They, yeah, we, we definitely got to start taking out these ships. They are definitely attacking our aircraft carriers now. Let me make sure no generals are about to land. I see no generals besides this bro right here. We'll take him out and then we'll start again wrecking their navy. No generals will be landing. Oh shit, there's another one south of him even. We can move up a little bit here. You know, they can have all the Navy in the world once all their generals are gone. What are they going to do? 
I have to send new ones from all from like halfway around the world. It's probably this, bro, that did so much damage on our aircraft carrier. I could see that happening. Instead of fighting the U.S. Like they should be doing. All right, there is a complete front right here. Just keep pushing them back, bros. Did we lose that? I'm pretty sure we had that and we had lost it. Airborne units back down. I did put down an aircraft carrier. We might have to decide. We might have to switch off. Because it's leaving us with not much money for meat shield. We'll have to switch off between aircraft carrier and super artillery maybe each round. Because it's getting hard to be able to afford both. All right, we got our island warfare done. I don't think we ever completely take this over until we get a major navy in here. They're just going to keep screwing us here. Everywhere else, we're doing all right. General trying to land. I think I can bring this bro north now. Nice. All right, we've got... Oh, shit. We need to take that. We need to take both of those. They're going to keep spamming out of them. How much health you got? Shit. He, we're not getting him off of there. Might as well not even try to get Mountbatten off of there. It's not going to happen. All right. Who is this? Modell. No shit. Modell's starting to open up a little bit. Not bad, Modell. I approve. Yeah, see, I don't think we're going to be able to put down a super artillery. We were uh, hurting on the meat shield last round. I mean, I will all meet shield first and then see what we got left, but I almost guarantee it's not going to be enough to do anything substantial with. You know what? We could get... Well, that seals the deal. I can't now. I didn't even think about that. All right. Well, we're definitely meat shielding. Is this the fear... Look, this is com this is completely open. There's nothing here. I mean, did they think, you know, they might have to defend? Possibly a little bit north of India or what? They were just like, ah, we don't need to defend that. Nothing's going to happen. No big deal. And now they've lost all. Yeah, look. Open as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> I'm just going to grab this. Nice. And then a little bit of cleanup duty, and that is it. The breakthrough is complete. Monstein gonna finish off all the crapper units in the area? Or not? Alright, what's going on with this guy? Oh, it's a general. It's one of those that the general's the general doesn't show up. I was like, okay, what the hell's going on? Alright, right, we can probably open that up. Uh, what happened over here? Did we hold back the U.S.? We did. I'm gonna take this. Any other naval yards we can grab, possibly? Well, this bro's entire existence now is probably gonna be set in here. Rommel and just, uh, pop shot in the U.S. troops as they come in. Meat Shield is back down. I've got the mission for our super artillery. It's all these cities that have the bunkers on them. And they have a lot of health. And there's a crap ton of them. So that's what our bros are going to be up to for a while. In Siberia. Pushed forward. 
Cleared this out. Holding back the US. Round 26. I mean, every time we start a new round, I worry about what has happened to Japan. We lost that. Should be able to take that right back. We lost this again, and we lost that. Well, shit. Yeah, I don't know if we're able to take this back. Nice, good hit. If it wasn't for that massive hit, we'd be screwed. This could be a nice pickup if we can grab it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That is not good. I'm going to just have to encircle it with meat shield and hope we can get it back after a couple rounds. Damn. That is not good, guys. Crap. It's a struggle to keep Japan up and going now. The defense, the defense is faltering. At least though, um, no generals landed. That's a plus. So looking around, we've got two generals that are trying to land. I'm hoping I can take down most of their health with just my capital ship so I don't have to waste my aircraft carrier bombing on them. Because we got some ships to take out. All right, we can start focusing on the Soviet Navy up here. Keep pushing, bros. This might, this might work. I mean, this, this looks like it has some promise to it. This technique. I mean, we, we have not had this bro busted out for a long time. We, we're almost there where he can finally taste freedom again. I'm going to leave the battleship down here for sure, though. All right, so Japan is recovered and um, these guys are screwed. They're completely surrounded. We should be able to clear all these out by next round. This might take a couple rounds to clear. I had forgot about this guy. His health is going down. He's at 500. He has been losing a decent amount of health. We stopped caring about him once all those generals passed him by. Yet again, everything held, but the islands have become exactly what I didn't want them to become, and that is money sinks. We have a hundred for the entire mainland. That's 10 units that we can deploy. We just can't afford to keep them going. Too much money. At some point, we're going to have to make some tough decisions about what islands to uh, hold on to. Probably next round, we're going to have to make some decisions. We just we can't keep this up. Our generals really need to come through here. Like in this area, it's the only bros that could possibly come through is our tank generals. I mean, we don't have many uh, infantry generals down here. So it's up to you three bros. Well, we gained a little bit of room. We're going to be, vi I mean, shit. I can't gain much room. 
I don't have the meat shield to cover it. Like, I literally can't gain too much ground. I've been screwed. All right, our first city. I want to see if they can open it. They can. They can open those. That's nice. Because you know the fear is not going to be able to. Yeah, not even close. A pathetic attempt, even. Some might say it didn't even look like he was trying, and I would completely back that up. It looks like we can possibly encircle India. If we can push right through here. Which it doesn't look like they got much defending. We might be able to do that. I think that's a possibility. Especially as long as I can keep healing up these uh, infantry generals a little bit at a time. Like, get them back to half health before sitting them back in. I see a future for the encirclement of India. All right, elsewhere, anything else really going on? Uh, I mean, not really. Take a bunch of industrial areas. That's great. Pull this bro up. Start doing some damage on this general. Once we get in range. Bring the Munstein over here. We can take him out. We can grab that probably. And just keep pushing with our crapper units. Alright, once again. We have ran out of money. I'm going to start next round. If I can remember with meat shield not worry about the aircraft carrier or the super artillery and just worry about upgrading the cities on the front with airfields and then get a decent meat shield around and then struggle taking out all these cities with these bunkers on them that's ridiculous it try to encircle India well I mean block it off not a true encirclement encircle it from land and then we've got to worry about this US landing here which is going to take a while to be safe because they got an air filled now. All right, bros. If you are enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will be back here for our next upload. Peace. Bruminati out.